Hey everybody, today we're gonna to dig into the three most common mistakes I see from real estate professionals and millennial AI into their business. So as you guys all know, there's been a huge impact with artificial intelligence over the last year. And real estate is no exception. Now I've been in this space for uh, almost a decade now, kind of before it was cool. Um, and so I've seen a lot of the stumbles that are made uh, when real estate professionals look to implement AI into their business. And there's a lot of places where you can get slipped up. So let's get into the three most common things that I see, mistakes I see uh, real estate professionals make as they start to adopt artificial intelligence. Number one, lack of clear goals for what you want the technology to accomplish. Imagine driving a fancy sports car without knowing where you want to drive. That's like implementing AI without having clear goals. Instead of just jumping on the AI bandwagon, ask yourself, what problem am I trying to solve? Is it lead generation? Is it property valuation? Am I streamlining operations? Like, what is it that I want this tool to do for me or accomplish or replace? Having a clear vision will help you choose the right AI tool and how to measure it successfully. I, mean, I can't say that again. Have a very, very clear vision and goal for what you want to accomplish. One AI is not going to do everything for you, okay? That's a common mistake. Number two, data, data. Where's the good data? AI is only as good as the data that it's trained on, okay? So if your data is incomplete, biased, or just plain messy, your AI tool will be like a chef trying to cook a gourmet meal with expired ingredients. It's not going to go well. It's not going to taste good. It's going to be a terrible mess. Okay, so invest in high quality data cleansing and preparation. Remember, garbage in, garbage out. It's never truer than with artificial intelligence, which is why you've had all those lawsuits that have come up with chat GPT and the likes. Uh, tr who, where are they turning their data on? Hey, what is the label set? What are they trying to accomplish? Now with real estate, uh, I think that it is, you, know, you aren't data experts. We get it. Um, so let's start by aggregating your data into uh, one place, right? Maybe it's your Google Drive. Maybe it is your whatever place that you feel comfortable keeping your data and it's safe. Um, that's a good first step. And organize it the best you can, okay? Um, artificial intelligence today and different ways for there to be trans transformations to get the data in and out and keep it clean. Those are transformer tools, basically. They're, they exist. We can talk about them in a different video, but let's start by aggregating the data. So let's repeat. Number one is lack of clear goals. Number two is data. Data, where's the good data? Number three, ignoring the human touch. Just because it's artificial intelligence doesn't mean it is human intelligence. So AI is powerful, but it's not magic. Don't expect it to replace the human experience or judgment. Think of it as an assistant, not a replacement for your skills or experience, because it's not, and it won't be. AGI is a good way off. Use AI to automate tasks, gain insights, make better decisions, but never forget that the human touch is what sets your business, your local knowledge apart from that, that platform, that system. Okay, that's vital. So it is, remember, have a clear objective or goal that you want to have accomplished. Make sure you're using um, aggregated, non-biased data, um, hopefully as least messy as possible. Just remember that it, there's still a human in the loop. Okay, that's number three. Keep that human in the loop. Think of yourself as an editor, not the copywriter anymore. If you're going to be doing generating blogs or emails or whatnot, you can get a long ways there, but you still want to tweak it to, to how can I have your brand voice? Final bonus tip I wanted to offer you. It's to start small and scale up. Start small and scale up. Okay. Don't try to overhaul your entire business with AI overnight. Start with a small project, maybe like lead enrichment or lead scoring or some type of property automation, or maybe it's just ADMs, something simple. This will let you learn the ropes of how to kind of integrate this into your business and your overall approach. If you, if you try to jump in and boil the oceans all at once, you will 
find out just how difficult it is to get right. So start one area. What's the most critical area that you can implement today? Get started. Get started now. Otherwise, one year from today, you're going to wish you had. I promise you that. Now, by, by taking action on these three common mistakes, you're going to avoid, um, you know, you're going to avoid a lot of heartache and pain and cost. You can unlock the true potential of AI in your real estate business by doing, by simply avoiding these problems. Remember, AI is a tool. Yeah, it is cool, but it is still a tool. And most effectively when used wisely. And like I've said before now, a couple of times in this video, there's many times when it's not used wisely. So if you have any questions or want to chat about your experience implementing AI, uh, please leave a comment. Let's get a conversation started. Um, and definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about how to implement all types of artificial intelligence into your real estate business. We'll do reviews on different products. We'll talk about things that we offer, talk about things that other people offer. But most importantly, we want real estate per professionals to implement and benefit from artificial intelligence. Remember, data set the stage, AI is still on the show. Thanks for your time. Have a great one.